Welcome back to Movie Recaps. Today, I'll share with you a romantic comedy crime drama from 1947. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with Ronnie Jackson being transferred from imprisonment. Ronnie is being locked up in death row and there's only a few hours wait before his execution will take place. The warden gives him the opportunity to narrate his side of the story to the newspapers. He narrates his story to the reporters about how he got convicted for murder. Ronnie is a baby photographer in San Francisco. He spends two hours trying to make the baby smile when he finally giggles at Ronnie getting his hand burnt by the hot flashbulb. He manages to capture the first laughter of the baby in his studio. The baby's mother is very happy and Ronnie tells her she can collect the pictures by the next morning. Before the baby leaves, he bites Ronnie's finger hard. Ronnie develops the pictures and later goes to his office neighbor, Sam McLeod. Sam is a private detective. Ronnie is very inspired by Sam and asks him to hire him as he received his licensed gun. He shows him his new invention, a pinhole camera. Ronnie asks Sam if he can be his sidekick with this great new invention. Sam leaves uninterested, telling Ronnie to answer his phone calls and tell them he is away for Chicago. Ronnie takes a sip of Sam's alcohol, but it is too strong for him. Suddenly, a beautiful woman enters Sam's office and closes the door behind her. She closes the blinds and mistakes him for Sam. She tells Ronnie that she is the Baroness Carlotta Monte. Carlotta tells Ronnie that she is very anxious, as her wheelchaired husband has gone missing. She shows him their picture and tells him that her husband was kidnapped at a pier when they arrived from overseas. Carlotta tells him that she is always being followed. A mysterious man listens to them outside the door. Carlotta gives Ronnie a $5,000 ring as payment as she doesn't have any money. She gives him her address and asks him to see her there as soon as he can. She hands him over a coded map in the corridor to protect in any case. She then leaves hurriedly telling him that no one should know he is a detective. Ronnie hears someone coming through the doors and takes his gun out. The cleaning lady gets startled. Ronnie tells her that he could take her picture for her. Then he goes to his office and sees Carlotta drive away and followed by someone. He hides the map in the cups beside the water cooler. He tries to pull an action with his gun, but he's clumsy and all the bullets fall out. The cleaner comes in to hand him back his camera and tells him he doesn't need to pull a gun at her if he wants to kiss her. Ronnie drives to the address Carlotta gave him. It is a huge mansion down in the peninsula. Kismet greets him at the door and takes off his jacket, also taking his gun away. Ronnie doesn't realize it and goes to see Carlotta, who is playing piano. When Ronnie comes, she starts singing a song. Ronnie tries to talk to her, but she keeps singing, telling him that they're being spied on. Kismet, realizing that they aren't talking about anything special, leaves. Then Carlotta tells Ronnie that the missing man is her uncle, not her husband. Ronnie asks why did she lie before? Carlotta says that it is because somehow the detectives are always interested in solving the problems of a young wife with an older husband. She tells Ronnie that her uncle entered the country on some secret mission. The mansion belongs to Major Montag, her uncle's former partner. His uncle had sublet it. Major Montag enters the room, and Carlotta changes the conversation to saying nice things about him. Kismet enters the room, telling Carlotta she has a phone call. Carlotta asks Kismet to take a message, but Major Montag tells her to get it as it might be important. When Carlotta leaves, Montag tells Ronnie that he had Kismet follow Ronnie from his office. He knows that Ronnie is a private detective. He introduces him to a wheelchair-bound man in the next room as Carlotta's husband, who obviously hasn't been kidnapped. Ronnie recognizes the man from the picture and tells them that Carlotta said it was her uncle. The accompanying doctor tells Ronnie that Carlotta is mentally ill and schizophrenic. He asks Ronnie to be careful around her as she can be harmful if upset. Montague asks Ronnie if Carlotta had given him a map to hold. Ronnie admits that she did. Carlotta re-enters the room and when alone with Ronnie, she tells him that the call was from her uncle who told her he was safe but she thinks he was forced to call. Ronnie is confused and tries to back off. Carlotta insists that he help her. She suspects Montague has said something about her to Ronnie. She pulls out a pocket knife, rendering Ronnie about his life. Carlotta tells him to guard the map with his life. He returns her ring and tells her that he will return the map to her. Confused about whether Montague or Carlotta is telling the truth, Ronnie leaves the mansion. Soon, he finds that his handgun is missing. He doesn't feel safe going back in, so he tries to climb through a window. 
He goes up a tree and sees the gang conferring through the window before the shade is pulled. He sees Uncle stand up from the wheelchair and walk around the room. Ronnie snaps a photo of Uncle through the keyhole as evidence. Kismet, who's followed him, throws a knife at him. Ronnie runs to his car, roaring down the mansion driveway. The others chase him by car and shoot out one of his tires. Ronnie runs into an apartment building and intercoms himself in by saying that he is Joe. Many women buzz him in, and he loses his tail. Ronnie goes out the back door, where a man throws water on him out of anger, thinking he is Joe. Back at his office, Ronnie develops the keyhole photo showing the uncle walking about. Kismet has followed him, and as Ronnie is calling the police, slugs him over the head. Ronnie falls unconscious. Kismet burns the photo, and what he thinks is the negative. When Ronnie comes to his senses, the prior day's customers arrive to pick up their baby's photograph. Ronnie gives her what he thinks is her baby's negative and asks her to get them developed somewhere else. Ronnie summons the police and drives back to the mansion with them. The mansion is deserted, and Kismet poses as the gardener for the owners, who are out of the country. The police apologize to Kismet for the interruption and leave. Montag gives Kismet Carlotta's ring with a note attached to leave as a clue for Ronnie to discover. Ronnie returns to the mansion and climbs up the window. In a funny series of ways, Kismet tries to place the ring right in front of Ronnie, but he always misses it. Finally, he puts it in the window, and Ronnie almost misses it on his way out. However, this time he finds the clue, which is a card for the Seacliff Lodge in Carmel. Ronnie burns the card after reading, but his lighter doesn't light, so Kismet burns it. Ronnie drives to the lodge, which is actually a sanitarium. After a bizarre golf match with an inmate and an imaginary golf ball, Ronnie is captured by the doctor and brought in. The doctor brings him to the Montag gang. Carlotta is also a prisoner there. Montag explains that Carlotta's uncle had turned down his offer to buy mineral rights. Carlotta's real uncle is then wheeled into the room to prove he is unhurt. He asks Carlotta to light his cigarette, puts it out, and then returns it to her. When Ronnie refuses to reel the whereabouts of the coded map, Kismet slugs him. He becomes unconscious at a single blow and immediately tells them that the map is beside the water cooler. Carlotta lies to cover up, saying that the map is at the water cooler in the ferry building, about an hour away. Montag sends a stooge to the ferry building to retrieve the map. They lock both of them in adjacent rooms in the sanitarium. In her room, Carlotta unwraps the cigarette from her uncle. Inside is a paper note saying to see James Collins, a scientist. Ronnie unlocks the middle door with a hairpin and opens the door. Carlotta tells Ronnie about her uncle's note. Billy, a silly member of Montague's gang, comes in bringing food for Ronnie. He expresses his liking for Ronnie. Ronnie cleverly tells him to open up the bars of the window to prove that he is strong enough. He does it, but then puts them straight again before saying, you gotta be neat. Then Ronnie and Carlotta plan to knock out the nurse who brings Carlotta food. The nurse slams Ronnie on the bed hilariously, but Carlotta hits her from behind and she is rendered unconscious. They flee, acting as nurse and patient. They are spotted by Billy and Kismet gets them, but they manage to escape. They find a car outside the sanatorium and drive away. It rains on their way and they are soaked. At his office, Ronnie returns the map to Carlotta, telling her that he is not Sam. He tells her that he wants to quit as he can't deal with such business. Carlotta insists on him to help as she changes into his clothes. Ronnie agrees with a kiss only. They call Colin's office and arrange to meet him at a restaurant that night. Unfortunately, Montague's stooge has followed them and overhears the arrangement. Ronnie and Carlotta meet Collins and show him the map. Collins says that he made it and it depicts cryolite deposits from which uranium can be mined. He says that Carlotta's uncle had scheduled an important meeting with the government at the Pilgrim Hotel in Washington. Collins pockets the map and Ronnie drives him to the police station so he can testify. As Ronnie parks, Kismet, who's hiding in the back seat with Ronnie's gun, shoots Collins and steals the map from his pocket. Ronnie and the dead Collins are spotted by the police. Ronnie flees the scene, now wanted for Collins' murder. Carlotta and a disguised Ronnie fly to Washington and go to the Pilgrim Hotel. They answer a Help Wanted ad, applying as a bellboy and a maid. In the Montague gang's suite, they record the gang's confession on a recording machine, including Kismet's confession that he murdered Collins. But when the police are called, Kismet switches the records and throws the incriminating record out the window.
Montag tells the police that Ronnie is wanted for the Collins murder in San Francisco. Ronnie is arrested and taken away. The gang still has the map and Carlotta's real uncle. The flashback ends. Ronnie is on death row, cursing Carlotta for disappearing and not testifying at his murder trial. When the prison warden comes to get Ronnie from his death row cell, Ronnie faints. When he comes to his senses, Carlotta is there and tells him that he is a free man. Ronnie had mistakenly given the keyhole photo negative to his customer. The photo from that negative revealed the uncle as an imposter. Carlotta said that a detective took the lead, capturing the gang, and the rest was routine. Ronnie is cleared and Carlotta's uncle is safe. Ronnie tells Carlotta that maybe he's cut out for being a detective, but she politely says he should stick to baby photography. The warden tells the executioner that the execution was canceled. The executioner curses and walks away. Ronnie and Carlotta kiss. A great little funny story. It's got it all. Romance, humor, and crime. And a perfect selection of the cast. Like the video if you love it, and subscribe for more.